Today's stage of my garden makeover is to take on my northern fence line. I've got a number of umbrella trees growing along it that I want to remove. So out with the chainsaw and their history. On the right hand side there's going to be a couple of bird's nest ferns planted. We're going to chip bark the garden beds to keep the weeds at a minimum. Here's a couple more umbrella trees that are history. We now come to my Monsteria deliciosa plants. I'm going to leave them there because both the bowerbirds and the catbirds enjoy the fruit. Uh, so do I. Now this bit here is, this vine is a pest. It's called arrowhead vine. It's introduced from South America. I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to leave it or remove it. I think it will give cover to the birds should they need it. Well, it's now afternoon. The umbrella tree's gone. There's a layer of chip bark that's gone down. On the right hand side, underneath the laundry veranda, there's two bird nest ferns that have gone in. I think when these take a hold, they'll fill that area quite nicely. Further as we go down the pathway, we come to the next couple of umbrella trees that have been chainsawed off and poisoned. A little bit further on, uh, uh, we've thinned out the monster just a little bit. And now we come to the arrowhead vine. Now that had been creeping down the fence so we've pulled that back. And, had, and it had attacked this tree fern growing all the way up to the crown. So we've pulled that back and surprisingly hiding underneath all of that vine were these bromeliads that had adhered themselves to the trunk of the tree fern. It was quite a pleasant surprise and I think it'll turn into a bit of a feature. The big pot's been relocated. We've waterproofed the inside of it plugged the hole at the bottom so the goal is to fill it with water and grow water lilies. Now the clean up as extensive as it's been so far showed a bit of an eyesore down there underneath the next door neighbour's house so we've planted some agapanthers that will hopefully take off and cover that bit of an eyesore. And that's our garden makeover so far.